Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me first impression video. I have a whole bunch of products here that I've never used before. So I've got some stuff from Anastasia, Anastasia, <laughs> Beverly Hills, Chi Chi. I've got some Mono Rock lashes that I want to use. I've got Smashbox, Benefit. And then I've just got some other brands in here that I want to use as well. So today I'm going to be using the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette for my eyes and also the Chi Chi Phone Case Palette. And this one was limited edition so you can't get it anymore but I bought a second one so that somebody else can have it. So I will be doing a giveaway and giving away this. So stay till the end of the video if you want to find out all the rules and how to win this. Okay, now we're up close and personal. I'm just gonna put my hair back. I'm just gonna use a lip balm. This is just my Nature one. Now, being completely honest, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of winging it. Um, I've got a party to go to later, so it's just fingers crossed that this goes well. And I've got a lot of baby wipes if it doesn't go well. <laughs> so I'm just using the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer and this one is not new. I'm just going to blend that in with a clean finger. Sorry about my band-aid, I cut my hand at work. Alright, so I'm going to start off with what I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I did get the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Anastasia Contour Kit Kit Contour. <laughs> the Contour Kit's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I guess you can always get refills. I'm going to use the Brow Wiz first to do my brows. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous that this won't be my colour. I got the colour Soft Brown. I hope it's my colour. It comes with a little spoolie on the end. I'm just going to use the spoolie on the side to brush through my hairs. So that's the difference between that brow and that brow. I would say they're very natural. I do have the Anastasia Dip Brow that I have used before. As you can see, I've used it before, but I do want a little bit more of a bold brow, so I think I may go in with this as well. So I'll do that off camera and I will be back. So going into the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. The palette comes with the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. So this is what the palette looks like and you just open it up. I've swatched these colours but I haven't used them on my eyes or anything. And it comes with a double ended brush and those are the colours there. So with my Sigma E35 which looks like this. This is a new brush for me, um, I've used it in a video that I did with my sister the other day. So I'm just going to dip into that light brown. I'm just going to place that through the socket for a transitional colour. that same brush with the matte black right there and I'm just going to put that on the outer V. I'm going to take the E35 that I used before for my transitional shade and just blend this colour out and into the crease. And then going to go back for a final time with that taupey colour. And then I'm just going to take the transitional shade again on the Napoleon Purtis brush. Just go around the edges just so that I have a nice gradient. So now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. And this is a new product that I've never used before. I've never even swatched. The Benefit Bare Real Liner. And yeah, I've heard heaps of people rave about this on YouTube. And then heaps of people hate it on YouTube. So I'm really intrigued to try this. So on the back it says beyond easy to get bigger, sexier eyes. Draws an easy line and smooth and oh a smooth lash hugging application. Didn't know that my lashes need hugging. <laughs> That's what the tip looks like. So it's got like a little curve kind of like here. And it's rubber. I don't know, do I click it or alright so I twisted it once. I don't want to twist it too many times. Ah, oh, there we go. This is what the liner looks like. I 
feel like nothing comes out once you first put it on. I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> I'm really nervous to do a wing though. Oh, I don't want to stuff it up. <laughs> okay, that's a tiny wing. I might just keep going. I've come this far. <laughs> okay, so that's the wing there. So I literally was just applying my lash really good and in angle and my camera stopped recording. It stops after like 30 minutes or something of recording. It's really weird though, I don't know why it stopped. This probably looks really weird. <laughs> it's how I get my lash to stick in the inner corner. Don't judge me. So I'm going to use my beauty blender, it looks like this. Um, I'm just going to go wet this and then I'm going to use my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. So I just went and wet my beauty blender. Now it's nice and squishy. So yeah, as I said before, I'm going to mix the Maybelline foundations. I don't know what shade I am right now. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get that benefit swatch off my hand and look. It doesn't come off. <laughs> just going to mix them together on my Z palette. That makes me sound so professional. Uh, I don't know. I think this is going to be a bit too dark. I don't know how you're meant to use a beauty blender. I just kind of went off YouTube tutorials. But I just like push it into my skin like that. Like a bouncy ball. So that's the foundation done. Now I'm going to go in with concealer. And I'm going to choose the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Which is a new purchase for me. But I have used it many times before. So I just used the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter, I used the really pale pink shade, this one here, um, underneath my eyes because it's really pink and it's super super light, like this is the lightest one but it's really really light. I just use that to highlight my face as well. The one thing I don't like about it is when you shut it like the product comes out and you've got to like wipe it off. So. You lose a lot of product by doing that. And I'm going to take the white side and just highlight my cheekbones. And I'm just going to take my beauty blender again and blend that all out. I look so nuts right now. take the other side of the beauty blender and just blend around the edges just so I don't look so crazy. I'm going to pat my face with the Face of Australia powder. This one is not new obviously. Now I don't feel that this foundation does need to be set but um I have oily skin so I just out of habit I think I just set all my foundations. And I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm just going to take the Banana Shade because I see so many people using it as an under eye highlight or like under eye setting powder so I want to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> I'm just going to pack that underneath. Oh this is nice. It like, I don't know if it's meant to but I feel like it kind of blows under your eyes as well. Oh I like it. There's a highlight in here which I'm going to use to highlight my inner corners. I'm going to grab this little brush and just highlight my inner corners with that. I need to go in with one of the contour colours. I think I'm going to use this one here to all over bronze and use just a stippling brush. Because I always use a stippling brush just because I feel like it blends more product out. I'm going to go in with a more dense brush as you can see and just pick up this cool toned brown colour which I think will be really good for contouring and I'm just going to contour with it. Then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Store blush in Luxury and it looks like this 
and I'm going to just put that on a stippling brush that I always use and just put that on my cheeks and work it back into my hairline. I think I stopped saying which products were new and which products weren't new. This is new. <laughs> I'm going to move on to highlight and use the Balm's Mary Luminizer. Now that my lashes are dry, I'm going to use the Smashbox for Exposure Mascara. I've never used this before, I don't even know what the wand looks like. Oh, it's massive. Look how big that is. It's huge. So I'm going to use that on my upper and my lower lashes, but first I'll just do my upper lashes. I think it's really pointless trying to test out a mascara on your top lashes when you're wearing falsies, but... On a pencil brush, I'm going to take the Chi Chi phone case palette thing, whatever it is. I don't know, it looks like a phone case. Um, and I'm going to take this colour here, this one here, which is a beautiful, like, taupey brown colour. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really, really pretty. I'm going to put that on my lower lash line, just to smoke out everything. Now I'm going to go back in with that Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, I really like that mascara. I don't know what its purpose is, if it's meant to like lengthen or give volume or whatever, but I like it a lot. I'm just going to quickly do my lips. I'm going to line them with the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in Rose. I'm going to use the Lime Crime Velveteen, which I haven't used before. I've only swatched it and I'm really excited, but I'm really nervous at the same time because I don't know how it's going to like turn out. Oh yeah, this is nice. <laughs> so that's that. And I'm just going to go over it with another really thin coat. The last thing I'm going to do is apply the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray just to set everything down. So this is the finished makeup look. <laughs> um, this is using majority of new products. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see. This is the eyes. I think they're really dramatic and really fun. I like the Smashbox Full Exposure palette. I think it's got some great colours in there. I do think that the sparkly ones don't really show up on your lids unless you wet them first. That's just my first impression. Um, the crease colours are good. They blend nicely. Um, the brow pencil, I think... The Anastasia one, I think, is quite good for natural looking brows. I didn't put a lot of pressure on, so it may be good for more, like, bold brows. The contour kit, I really, really liked. I liked the under eye setting powder. I thought that was really nice. It kind of blurred my imperfections. I loved the contour. I don't know if you can still see it, but I really, really liked it. Um, the inner corner highlight that I used from the contour kit, it was okay. I, I wouldn't go out and buy it individually. Um, the liner... Is, this is what it looks like now so I don't know if you can still see it's still on obviously you don't want it to wear off that quickly um the lashes I love the lashes can we just take a moment look at the lashes I think they're so pretty the blush is very natural which is why I bought it the lip color it's um it's very bright but I think that's perfect we're going into summer now we're in spring I think it's perfect to have a bright bold lip color I mean this is like a color I would wear all the time it hasn't like transferred or anything clean hand doesn't transfer really happy with all the products that I have gotten and yeah so on to the giveaway as I mentioned earlier, you will be winning this eyeshadow palette here, which I use this color. Yeah, this color here for my lower lash line, and it's so pretty. Um, so you're winning the exact same palette, which comes with the eyeshadow palette, the iPhone 5 case, and the iPhone 4 case. Yeah, so you'll be winning this, and there's not much you have to do. You obviously have to be subscribed to my channel because it's for my subscribers, and you don't have to like the video or anything like that. I don't really mind about that. Um, you just have to leave a comment down below, and that's your entry. So basically, comment maybe a video you'd like to see, or just something I've improved in in my video making, or yeah, anything. Just say hi. Do whatever you want. Um, if you want to check out my Instagram, you can. It's down below. Basically, that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me with First Impressions on some new products and I'll see you in my next one.
Bye. Would you rather shave your eyebrows or have your eyelashes fall out? Like shave off your eyebrows. So you have no eyebrows. I'm answering that. What? I'm going to insert a picture. You can get me a sharpie. <laughs> I really... <laughs>